I, I had some great bosses, and I still like really uh, take advantage of some spectacular mentors I'm very yeah. lucky to have. I am David Karp, the founder of Tumblr. Uh, Tumblr is uh, trying to be the best tool in the world for creative expression. Uh, so we're trying to help people create uh, blogs online that they're really, really proud of, that they're uh, th happy to have show up when people Google them, that they're happy to put on their business cards, etc. Um, it was something I really wanted to use, and um, the tools really weren't out there at the time. Um, I tried everything that was, nothing really worked. And um, that's sort of been, I think, the guiding light for us. Uh, now four years into Tumblr, we're trying to build tools that we really want to use. Um, it was literally in between contracts, so we had a couple weeks where we you know, were sitting on our hands, dicking around, and uh, I said, you know, let's just take a stab at this. This is something that I've wanted to try for a, week, uh, for a while. Let's see how much we can pull together in a couple weeks. And that was the very first crude version of Tumblr, and we kind of kept chipping away at it for a few more months until eventually it came together, because Tumblr wasn't, you know, we were making money. We had all these great clients. We were having a lot of fun working on all these projects we were really proud of. And Tumblr was like one of those things, um, and it seemed like a much bigger opportunity, but I just wasn't sure in the beginning. Um, and there were just a lot of people who you know, I, I really trusted, really admired, who were telling us that you know, that, was, that was the thing to go for. And you know, eventually, it, was, it took about six months before I just gave in and said, all right, I'm, I'm pissing off my clients who are not returning their calls. Tumblr seems to be where our hearts are. Let's go for it. Hi, I'm Andy Corvell. I'm the founder and CEO of Corvell Corp. I, I had some great bosses, and I still like really uh, take advantage of some spectacular mentors I'm very yeah. lucky to have. Don't let life get in the way of living. The, the one piece of advice I'd give to anyone else who's going down this path is find great, strong mentors who've been through this stuff before. We're going to ask Glenn Cheeky for the money. Is he an elf? Because he sounds a little like an elf. He's also Andy Corvell's mentor. Ask them as many questions as you can and really listen to them. And even if you're, you feel stubborn, even if the, what they're telling you doesn't quite gel or you want to try and doing it differently, give it a chance to sink in. Don't forget what they told you. you know, write it down. Think about it at least every few weeks because you know, eventually you kind of figure out what they were trying to tell you. And you know, the, the sooner that you catch on to the direction of people who've been through this stuff before, um, the more you're open to people with more experience than you, you can make way fewer mistakes. So the first big one was I really thought that I could run Tumblr as a side project, which like it didn't pan out. After three or four months, our clients were totally pissed off. You know, they saw us doing all these blog posts and bragging about this Tumblr stuff we were doing, and you know, we weren't weren't returning their calls. We weren't finishing up our, our projects that we were supposed to be working on for them. So that clearly didn't work. So I gave in. We raised money. We started doing Tumblr full time. After that, the two things that our investors really kind of pushed me on that I was very stubborn about was hiring fast enough to get everything that we wanted to get done done. I just, I didn't trust anyone else. and I was such a perfectionist that I couldn't imagine anyone else doing a good job of this stuff. And the truth is, like, me being able to give 5% of my attention to something versus bringing someone in to give 120% of their attention to something, like, there's just no question you're going to get far better we results. We were very stubborn and very clever. We, you know, wanted to be clever engineers and prove that we could build something that would get really far. But the truth is, unless you've built something, that a hundred million people use every day. They're just things that you couldn't even fathom that you're going to have to think about. Um, so they kind of kept on us for that. I, I wish that I had brought people in earlier. We're, not, we're lucky enough to have those people today. But you know, had I had those people, you know, a, a year earlier, we wouldn't have had to pay off quite as much of a technical debt as I think we had to. One thing that really helped us was when we were getting started. One, one of the things that we were really nervous about that we you know, wanted to make sure of before, before proceeding with Tumblr was that. It had a, an original space, that there was room for us to innovate, that it wasn't just you know, feature competition with WordPress or Facebook or Twitter or anything else out there, that we really had a different mission and vision than any of those other products. And that's just made our lives so much easier uh, because we, we see a space that we get to be you know, creative and free thinking in rather than worry about you know, our marketing or the people who are like, have drawn targets on our backs or the other big players and right like we just get to do what we're doing build stuff that we're really really proud of and every day think about you know how to do a better job of that um, I would say that that's the kind of the next most important thing is build tools for yourself I, I think at least for me that's what's certainly for us that's what's I think worked the best um, I think it works if you want to be clever and you know find a market and you know hire the right people and build a tool for a, a tool that you might not ever use um, I imagine it's worked for some people. It's not at all how we've approached it. These are tools that we want to use first and foremost. We're often you know, thinking about our, our users 
um, not last, but we're, we're first and foremost thinking about the things that we're really excited to use ourselves and then thinking about how that translates into our community.